It is turning out that the Penn State sex abuse case may involve more victims than first thought. Former assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky is charged with abusing eight boys over 15 years. But chief investigative correspondent Armin Katayan has learned Sandusky may have abused more than 18 boys. Armin? Good evening, Scott. We're hearing that from attorney representing several victims in this case. He said those victims told him abuse by Sandusky included rape and molestation. Minnesota attorney Jeff Anderson has represented victims of childhood sexual abuse for nearly 30 years, including thousands of victims of pedophile Catholic priests. The institutional failure at Penn State really parallels the institutional failure we've seen at the top level of the Catholic Church hierarchy. Top officials failing to act to protect the kids, rather choosing to protect their reputation. Anderson is now working with several men he says survived severe sexual abuse, molestation and rape by former Penn State coach Jerry Sandusky. The emotions of the survivors and their families right now are really a re-traumatization. It's a mixture of despair, confusion and fury. A key witness against Sandusky is assistant football coach Mike McQuery. But now there are conflicting stories of exactly what McQuery did after he says he witnessed Sandusky rape a boy in 2002. McQuery has declined to discuss the, the case in public. I just don't have anything else to say at yeah. all. Okay. In this grand jury report, McQuery says after seeing Sandusky and the boy in the football locker room shower around 9.30 p.m., he left immediately distraught and that he was never questioned by university police and no other entity conducted an investigation. But in an email obtained by the Associated Press, McQuery claims when he saw the alleged attack, I did stop it, not physically, and had discussions with police. Today, university and state college police told CBS News they have no record that McQuery reported an alleged sexual assault by Sandusky. According to the grand jury report, McQuarrie spoke to then head coach Joe Paterno and two top university officials, athletic director Tim Curley and vice president Gary Schultz about the alleged attack in 2002. Both Curley and Schultz have been charged with lying to the federal grand jury and have been removed from their jobs. Armin, thank you very much. Yeah.